Day five, last full day here in Wyoming for us. Richard and I are the only ones with tags left in our pocket. We gotta make something happen. He's down. He's down. miles back in to pick up Isaac's chair. Oh no, they're gonna be used and, for and he's deer even, next week. And he's not even gonna bring it. Um, if you want, you can totally bring mine if you want to pack it, it in and pack it It was at least 12 miles that I walked to get I, that I thing. Plan, I'm hoping that we're coming On out. slopes like this. Yeah. I had to fight off a grizzly bear. No, I'm just letting you know. Just to get to it. Snowstorm. It gets hot. Complete man. whiteout. Get, and Isaac's, get, and get Isaac's in the car. So best case scenario, right, those dudes bust these, the antelope. Oh wait, do we got some more? We got some more down here, bud. Walk on the ridge line. Way closer. In between the power poles. You keep an eye on the far ones, I'll check these ones out. bunch of groups of does today but hopefully those other ones will bump and then come this way and then settle down we can watch them make a play so that's what we could do go up and hit the road we want to get to the water anyway but if we wipe, walk past the water just a little bit, we can get to the bend in the road. It'll get us a better idea. Those are on public or private. Yep. Uh, can you uh, find that sunblock for me? Dude. I know, man. And you don't need to hold on to it. I can carry it as well. So that. It's a win-win for you. I mean, think about it. it's less weight that you now have to pack, and it keeps you uh, from getting sunburned. My cool shirt that you don't like keeps you from getting sunburned. Yeah, I actually like that shirt. It's a nice color. Hey man, I just want to let you know that I really do appreciate you still tagging along with me even though you're tagged out. You could very well just be hanging out at camp drinking beer. But you're weathering the storm with me that I'm going through right now.
let's work over to that other little fancy thing. See what that looks like. We might be able to use that knob down. Stay out of sight. Alright, so looks like we can use this valley sight from will pop up if, if it works out and these cows don't spook we'll be um, I'm guessing like a hundred yards away safe with 500. Down. He's down. He's down. <laughs> oh, we earned it, dude. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. He's back up. He's down, bro. Are you sure? He's down right there, side of the hill. Oh, dude, I was over. <laughs> <laughs> Holy Ooh. crap. Oh, I gotta say it, but good stuff, guys. Good stuff. Oh my god, I've never laid in a prone position for that long in my life. 
I knew I could make that shot. It was almost identical, 10 more yards farther than last year. It was 385 on the money. He came up, he was, he, he finally got broadside. And then as soon as he went broadside and I clicked the safety off, he laid down. And so I sat here for, I, I don't know how long broadside just waiting for him or with my scope on him, just waiting for him to stand up. And all that's going on while I'm like, man, the wind's going this way. I don't know what the does are doing. I know they use their eyes more than their smell, but I'm not sure, you know? And uh, he kept looking back. So every time he looked back really fast, I, I, I made sure I was on the gun um, steady. And then I saw him start to make that move up. Got nice and tight, had a good trigger squeeze and thumped him hard. So I think he ran, uh, that's probably all of maybe 60 yards. <laughs> he didn't go any, I thought he was down here with the other group. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes! Oh! Now let me just say, I think Isaac and I got at least 70 something miles on our feet in this week. It's been a good week, stock after stock. Uh, I missed yesterday, it kind of got in my head a little bit, but it's, you know, when you have the time like this, you can really slow down and focus on that process, and that's what I was able to do. And and uh, whew, I'm jacked, guys. I'm stoked. I'm finally tagged out. Um, I do still have a deer tag, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's go check them out. Oh, what could happen in antelope country? Especially this. We've seen this buck so far away with those does. It's just you know the ups and downs is real. Oh yeah. All right, buddy. Oh yeah, very happy with you, my friend. Especially our last day to hunt, and that's where you want to shoot them. He's bigger than last year's. Thank you, my friend. Oh, appreciate it. Worked my butt off. And you do have an extra bag or something, right? So I can put some loose meat in there. So I think I got four quarter bags. I don't think so. Did you? Unless somebody took them out of my bag. I didn't take them out. We like always make it work. But... You have four? I have four. Oh. I guess we'll Fine. just do. Yeah. No, we'll do it like we did last time. You got. Do do loose meat and then the cake. Roger, Roger. <sighs> My bino pack. This was whew, rubbing down my trap. Not my backpack. Home stretch. He was a little off on the mileage. Yeah. Nice job. I'll man. take him. Oh yeah. It's a great buck. Dude, the hunt was awesome, man. Good. The hunt was my favorite hunt ever in my life. Oh, it was crazy. You want to take your pack off, homie? Yeah, let me start with this. Ugh. You just drop it, I'll take it. Right. Oh. Walk away. Oh. Just walk away. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. So light. It's a great buck, man. Yeah, I'm proud of him. Yeah. That's my biggest of date. Oh. Turns out for every 50 miles you walk, you can shoot an antelope. Oh. Yeah, I'm happy That's with them. Yeah. I like them. All that hard work paid off. <laughs>